，我这边冇呀嘿。One, two, one, two. Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. Welcome to my channel. It's been years and this vlog is extremely overdue. I came back from Sierra Leone in January and it is March. I don't know what took me so long. It was overwhelming just to relive this experience and there's just so many things that I wanted to put in and take out and I was just going back and forth for myself but I'm so happy that I was able to compile something that was enough <laughs> and made me feel good about it so I'm just excited for you guys to see my trip my country where my people come from I'm a salon babe salon titi that's me but yeah um just watch my vlog watch my vlog just watch it there's going to be parts in this vlog where I did speak a little bit of Creole. Don't come for me. My Creole is not the best. My people told me already, but they said that I did a lot better than they thought I would. So I'm proud of myself. Salon Titi Den, Salon Bobo Den. Welcome. I don't know they do. Cabo. Um, but yeah, watch my vlog and leave some comments down below. Like, subscribe, and join the fam. Good morning, guys. It is officially the day that I leave for Sierra Leone. Oh my god, I yeah, it's getting pretty real. Alright, let me I don't have much time. Let me just get started. Hey. 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 Back then when we start, nobody know understand that God's plan will be made from the sun. From the feet to the take to the stand with the hopes that we reach out the land. Everybody knows the best We have landed. I look a hot mess. Oh my god, look at my hair. And it's hot as hell. Yeah. So I'm officially in Sierra Leone. Um, but the only bad news is that my luggage isn't here. Like none. I have my carry-on bag, that's all I have, but like my two check bags are not here. So I had to stand in this long chaotic line to report it and that was a lot. Like I need sleep, I need to eat, I need a shower. It's just a lot. I'm off to a rough start, but hopefully it gets better. Hey guys, I am officially in Freetown, Sierra Leone. As you can see, we got the van going. The humidity is up there. Like, I just got out the shower. So I just got back from the airport probably like an hour ago. Um, first thing I did was come. My aunt gave me my room, showed me how to use everything. Wow, like it's just so nostalgic for some reason. But yeah, I took a shower and I definitely used cold water. I came out and I'm still hot. I feel like I need to go back in. But they're preparing breakfast now, so I'm about to go have some breakfast with my family. Um, I'm meeting them all for the first time, so it's a little exciting. And none of my other family members are here with me, so I'm experiencing this all by myself. Which is a big girl thing for me, but it feels good. I'm just happy to be home. So let's go get some breakfast, because I'm sweating already. Can I sit by you? Yes, of course. Join me. Alright guys, so as y'all can see, I just wrote a keke for the first time and it was an experience. It's going to be much more of keke ridings. I love it because it's air just blowing and you're just riding the streets. But I'm currently at Pike Street at um, my cousin's house. Today's actually the bridal shower and I'm just finding that out. And my boxes are not here. I was supposed to have a bathing suit. They're all not slick with me. I was supposed to have a bathing suit. I was like, my make, like everything is not here, and I'm not ready. 
but it's coming. Samata, tell me na, what's in the exchange rate again? Explain that for me. One thousand. This is not one million. This is not five hundred. This is not five hundred. This is not thirty thousand. One yeah. million, thirty thousand. That's mm. one million, one hundred. One million, thirty thousand. Mm -hmm. All right. So one of the biggest highlights of my trip or the things that I look forward to the most was seeing my great grandmother, Mami Kati. Um, my great grandmother has lived up until the age of 108 years old. She just turned 108 yesterday. Um, happy birthday to my great grandmother. So I was so grateful that I got the chance to experience her energy, her spirit, her character. Um, this was really important to me and meant so much. And I made sure I've documented this uh, during my stay. And I wanted to share it with the world because she means so much to me. So yeah let's meet my great grandmother yeah. all right so we are currently on a robot streets right yeah okay so we did robot streets at the cafe and me great granny my great grandmother um mommy kati i'm excited to see her mommy kati I know. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. Amen. Thank you, guys. We just thank you. Yes. Thank you. Oh, no, you can. That's it. I did well. I was there. I'm glad it is. I hope I joy. Oh. <laughs> I hope I joy. I hope I joy. I hope I joy. Yeah. Like, yeah, I hope I joy. Why? Oh, oh, All right, guys. Wow, I look crazy. So my bags are still not here, but it's still the same day. And it is my cousin's bridal shower. And I don't have any of my stuff. We're all wearing like mint green and blue polos. And we're about to meet up with the rest of the girls down. They're calling me now. But yeah, we are at one of the beach resorts here in Sierra Leone. Um, as you can see, the view is just amazing, like beautiful. Um, we're a little late, the sun has gone down, but the party don't start till Rosen arrives, so we're here. <laughs> like the most popular way of getting around here in Sierra Leone, right? Yeah. Oh, it's right here. It's right here. Yes. So after two days, my bags finally arrived. Oh my gosh. Like that was the happiest moment of my life. Like I was scared that my bags would either get lost or something, but they came, both of them, and I wrapped them. You saw they were sealed tightly, so nobody was getting any of my things. So my bags finally came, and I was so excited, and now it's time to get ready for the engagement. So we booked this hairstylist to do our hair, and she was doing it in a ponytail style, and it was just not a good experience for me, so I didn't really record much. I didn't even show anybody how my hair looked because it was not cute at all. And I just feel like she was damaging my hair in the process, and I was angry. But let's get into the engagement. Yay! 
don't mind all the loud cheering. That's kind of like how my culture celebrates. And it's kind of just a gas. We're there to gas the bride at the moment. So that's what was happening there. Welcome to day five. Is it day five? I think so. Today I'm going to be headed to the town of Kisi to see my dad's side of the family. So we're up early now. I believe it's like a quarter past eight. So we're trying to be out of here by 8.30 to head that way to avoid any major traffic. I feel like the traffic has started already, but you know, it's okay. So we're gonna catch a keke as high as we can go, get off, then catch a bike for the remaining of the, the trip. And then I'm gonna go meet my dad's side of the family. So let's go. Up there. The one with the airline, see? This one up there. This one. No. You don't. This one. Yes. Maybe we go. Okay. We don't get see. Okay. Okay. So you have to tell me. So who side is? Yeah, no lumbo. Uh huh. Tell me who that come on ya. We there, I'm there, I'm not there, Sister Nana. You're all there. All right, guys. So this is my father's side. Yes. Father's side of the family. See, we fist there, everybody. I'm not going Hey, little. Wow. You yeah. are really at the top. Yeah. Looking down on. This is not the eastern area, I see. Puntola. Hey, we are here. Hey, we are here. Hey, we are here. Hey, we are His sister, Auntie Maya. Auntie Maya came and welcomed me and sang to me, and her she was singing was in the language Limba, which I don't understand, so I can't even translate it for you. I was just happy to see her and happy that she was happy to see me, and I just felt so loved and welcomed. It was really a good feeling. Yeah, yeah. Give hey, we are in. Yeah, we are. I think. That's why I'm alone. Wait, wait. Speak out, speak out, speak out. Yeah, let's go, let's go. Rose. Yes. Yeah.
not cute. <laughs> Products. My breakdown is complete, guys. Thank you so much, Rihanna. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. I definitely love to. I would definitely love to. I have to come back. You have to continue learning. Because things are changing. It's always changing. Techniques change by day. Alright guys, so I just spent the day at Lillian Clover's. Got my weeks done to do my wig install for the wedding. Um, I just chatted up with the owners of the salon and I love them already. Haja and Antoinette were so great. They were such a breath of fresh air visiting them at Lily and Clover. So if you're ever in Sierra Leone, definitely check them out. It's definitely gonna give you that luxe, high-end feel. You're gonna feel pampered when you get there. But tell them Rose sent you. <laughs> um, so now it's the night before the wedding and typically, the night before the wedding, they usually have gumbe, which are drummers outside of the house. Um, beating the drums and just letting everybody know that a wedding's about to happen. So that's what you're about to see now. You're gonna hear them beating the drums and everybody dancing, giving them money. And that's just one of the things that they do um, the night following up to the wedding. <laughs> It's the night before the wedding, and <laughs> I got a mosquito bite on my forehead, and I got a mosquito bite on my hand, and it's swollen. I don't know if y'all can see, but they said it's because I eat too much sugar, but I don't even eat that much sugar. <sighs> so, hopefully this goes down, because this is ugly. It looks like somebody, give me one cuckoo, not me, for it. <laughs> so bad. Lights don't go, lights go, let me, yeah. <sighs> Lord. Good morning, guys. It is the morning of the wedding, and the bride is out here getting her makeup did. Let's tune in. Don't hate me, y'all. I did not record much of the wedding. I was in the wedding, so it was really hard to um, just capture everything that happened throughout the ceremony at the church and then the reception. I just completely left my camera at home. It wasn't happening, but um, it was definitely a good time. I was so happy to be a part of my cousin Onessa's wedding. Um, yeah, it was cool. But today I met up with my cousin Khadija, who also came out to Sierra Leone for the holidays. And we're going out to Cold Street Guest House to get some lunch with a couple of her friends as well. So let's go to Cold Street Guest House. Oh, that's also somewhere you have to go if you're visiting Sierra Leone. Check out Cold Street Guest House because it's just really nice and the food is good. Good. <laughs> Hey, 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 hey,
Alright guys, so I'm here at Cold Street Guest House for lunch. I'm waiting on my cousin and her friends to arrive. Um, it's a nice guest house out here. So it's got like beautiful garden scenery. As you can hear, they have the Afrobeats going in the background. Um, so yeah, it's a cute little spot that you guys should all check out if you do have a chance to come here to Sierra Leone. Say hi to the vlog! Hey. <laughs> Say hi! Hi! What the hell was that? They were like, they got out of the... Jack chicken, Jack chicken. Yes. But not now one normal between the two. I want them on. Yes. Yeah. We the share um so the order should be two drink chicken and one home. <laughs> yes. We are currently in Watalo, Waterloo, Kambu Town, Watalo. Don't want no more. It but it took like it took us an hour to get here. Private area, a lot of gated communities. Um, but yeah, this is where my grandparents decided to come and stay. <laughs> grandpa, grandpa. Hi, Grandpa. Mm. Oh. I'm good. How are you? Oh. Okay, babe. All right, guys. Um, so I am here at the top of Lester Peak which is kind of like the highest point here in Sierra Leone. Um, and it's we're extremely high up. I'm gonna show you guys the view, but like Sierra Leone is known for like their mountains. So as you can see in the back, you probably see like the mountains going across, but we're at the highest peak. Um, and the scenery is just amazing. Don't even know how to explain it. There is a bit of a glare going on right now, so we can't really see clear. Hey guys, welcome back to another day of my vlog in Sierra Leone. Today I will be attending Claude Chella, which is a one-year-old birthday party <laughs> for my cousin's niece. So we're here now. I'm very Coachella'd out. See my outfit. Well, not very, but just I did what I could do. And I also got my hair braided, y'all, because the wigs were not cutting it anymore. Um, so I went to this salon on Charles Street called All American. I got my hair done and the total came out to, well the style itself cost $150,000, $150, which if converted into US dollars, that would be $15. So I got my hair done, $15, and look good, um, but yeah. Alright y'all. We at the beach. We at the beach. First beach day out. In two weeks. In two weeks. All this up and down. All yeah. Yeah. Boy, yeah. Yeah. Oh, hi, baby. She worried about something else. I know, right? She's like, I'm trying to get in that bag. Alright y'all. So we are at number two beach and I'm about to try an oyster for the first time of life. Show them how to the plate, girl. Okay. I'm really like, it's not really. Oh, shit. Like, okay. Okay, I'm going to go to the office. I'm nervous. Because you just like the pepper and the lime. Yeah. That was good. Yeah. Exactly. I'm taking another one. Look, she was being picky first. She's eating. Lobster. 
Right, right, right. I got some lobster and shrimp with fried rice. I got some chicken and chips. My hookah tent. Don't mind that. Okay, is that some more lobster? Yes, ma'am. Lobster and shrimp. And shrimp. Oh, he's not playing. King. For real. Alright, y'all. So we just finished eating, drinking, and I could really use a nap. But we're just about to take a walk on the beach. This beach is so beautiful. Like it's been a whole like family day. Good morning, guys, and Merry Christmas. It is Christmas Day in Sierra Leone. I'm so excited to be home from my mother's land. Um, but yeah, so I'm here at my dad's sister's house still. Um, I woke up late, showered because I was out all night, but when I got back, I went to sleep. I woke up, showered, ate, rested, and now I'm going to go see my great grandmother again to give her her Christmas cash. But yeah, I must go meet up with the rest of my family wherever they at. And yeah, let's see where the day takes us. Mm. They all don't care. Eh? You don't see our day. Our Fina, they don't care. It's a part of the Sing this thing for me back. Amen. <laughs> she definitely meant Happy New Year. So it was very, it was, it was Christmas Day, but she definitely, the song goes, Happy New Year, we not die. You'll tell God thank you for we life for. Don't mind my grandma, she a little old. <laughs> okay. Let me take my hand. You can't even tell me. You can't even tell me. You can't even tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Tell No, you can't even tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Uh huh. Full on make and fine. Let us not can't see me. Bam. No, nine dollars. So. <laughs> Where you grab now? In the grab. Yeah. Okay. What's up, you mommy? Hey. Come on down the road. Victoria's about to take the wheel and drive in Freetown, guys. Pray for us. Pray for us. Yeah, I don't go. <laughs> It can't be hard. Hey guys, I am finally out of the house. Been in traffic for like 35, almost 40 minutes for a 10 minute drive to a lovely beach. But I'm about to get with my cousin, just be getting some lunch and I'm having a few pics of the cute in this two piece outfit. Um, but yeah, that's what we're doing today. So let's see where we're about to get lunch at because I am hungry. I'm hungry. Eat. Say hi to the vlog, Moody. Meet my pretty, pretty German babe. Hello, guten Tag. <laughs> Good time. So I just wrapped up a quick little shoot. Kudos to Moody for taking some fire flicks because don't nobody be trying to take my pictures. But she took some and they were nice, so I'm happy. Now I'm hungry. So we're supposed to go out tonight, but the laziness kicked in and I'm starting to feel a little. <laughs> so we're back in Moody's hotel room and we just ordered some room service. So we got to eat. And then I'm gonna take my behind home because we have a long day tomorrow. We're going to do a waterfall hike extremely early in the morning. So we're gonna get some rest. So I'm gonna eat and then go home. All right, say so everybody say hi to the vlog. Are you guys happy to hike today? Yeah. Khadija, are you happy to hike today? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Moody, yeah, let's see how we'll end the hike. The last time I went on a hike, if you know, you know, it was the worst experience of my life. So I was really traumatized about going on this hike. We were supposed to do a waterfall hike, like I said before, but the, um, I think the water levels were low that day. So we ended up doing a Guma Valley hike, which is where the water supply happens and stuff like that. So we woke up extremely early and we went on a hike and it was so beautiful. Check it out. So they're saying we're not even halfway there yet. 
and your girl is drenched. We have an hour left to walk. Let's go. I don't know where we're going, but I see light at the end of the tunnel. So I hope that means that we are here. I really do. Because, oh, woo, or the sun is just coming out. No, we still got ways to go, y'all. But I'm not giving up. The conduit is not in me. This is so beautiful. This is like the tree from Lion King. Oh, yeah. Does it not? Does it not? It does. This is so freaking beautiful. <laughs> Guys, we made it. Oh, this hey, is guys, so nice. Eh? Like, this is the country, y'all. No Philly. And we finally made it, guys. This is Guna, Guma Dam. Guma Valley Dam, something like that. But this is kind of where, like, the water is supplied. Um, it's really, really nice up here. Like, it took us, like, an hour. It's currently 8.20, and up. we just made it up to the top of the Guna Valley Dam. The sun is up. So it's time to go back downhill before we... Because it's already sweated. All the sweat. I need to sweat. So now going back down is going to be so much hard. I feel like it should be easier. It's going to be easier. But... We, we got it done. I'm just happy. I'm just proud. We didn't give. Oh my God! Look at this view. What the heck? Like who you know? Country look like this. Who you know? Mine. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. See, like a mountain there. Eh? Well, come on. <laughs> Damn beautiful. <laughs> I get it. Damn beautiful. <laughs> Hello. So here I am. Here I am. Oh my goodness. Bro. Pandianche. Wow, that is crazy. Yes. Pop. Ah, uh, God, this is my first rest stop of my trip, and I'm about to leave. This is crazy. <laughs> I'm you know, I might like pet my own. Yeah. Yeah, I just been. No, I know where the fashion open. All right, guys, so we are at Tokay Beach. Resort and oh, woo, we finally made it. It was a struggle to get here, but like it's so worth it. The view, the beach, this beach is just so nice. We're here, I'm so happy. Jeez, look at the view, guys. It's such a quiet, peaceful beach.
away from my family in a different country, the holidays. So this was a completely different experience for me, especially New Year's came around. Everybody wanted to go out and party, then my family wanted to go to church, and I'm like, I've never been out on New Year's. I always spend New Year's in church with my family back in the States. So I made it my duty that I crossed the New Year in church in Sierra Leone, and that's what I did. So I went with my dad's sister and his family to their church, and we celebrated and worshiped into the New Year. And then we went out. <laughs> Don't hate me, I did not record my uh, New Year's evening out. It didn't go as planned. The car I was driving crashed. Like, my New Year started off a little rough, but I still made the, tried to make the best of it. We went to a party, we got there extremely late, and me and Moody just went through it. Girl, she helped me down, I held her down, we did well. Thank you to our driver, Douda. I appreciate him so much, um, but yeah, he got us through. But we still made the best out of it, so let's keep going. <laughs> Oh my yeah, yeah, pass, pass, yeah. Yes, sir. No, yeah, I know y'all seen that man just touch my lip with his dirty hands. Mind you, this guy got in our car. So at this moment, I'm in a car with the photographer, Dominic, who I met earlier. And we were on our way to Mamba Waterfalls to do our little photo shoot. And the guy got in a car and said he will help us guide us to get to the Mamba waterfalls because there were no signs on how to get there. So he got in a car drunk and just loud and just doing a lot. And I was nervous because mind you, I was by myself. I didn't know Dominic. I knew him because we met before, but I also didn't know who that guy was. And they were driving my uncle's car. So I was really on edge, but he definitely made me feel extremely comfortable. And it felt like a big girl experience for me to literally navigate through Sierra Leone and go to Mamba Waterfalls on my own with Dominic. And we had to park the car. And I was just scared that somebody was gonna steal the car because he had us park it somewhere. And then we had to walk extremely far to get to Mamba Falls. But y'all about to see that walk right now because it was not easy and I was not prepared. It was literally a second hike. Okay. The guy's drunk. He's drunk? Can't you smell the hot I dog? did smell, I didn't know what I was smelling, whether it was musk or what. But <laughs> <laughs> Is the car safe here? Oh uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Even without the key. Yeah, especially this one. Why am I not care about that. See this? Oh, I'm about to sweat, y'all. I'm about to sweat. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Dominic! Hello? <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> Dominic in the back. 
So it's officially my last day here, and I'm about to get my hair braided by Khadija. Um, so I had her do a custom color for me because I wanted some blonde braids. So she did a custom color for me um, overnight, and it's loud, but we're about to get started. up the braids. You got me? Khadija did me well. Whoa, these braids. What? Jeez. Oh my God. These are long. Not with braids. When you long all right, guys. So I'm gonna finish. Tell them bye bye. You let the camera inside. I'm finishing my hair. Bye. Bye. Say bye, Khadija. Bye bye. Thank you so much. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm finishing up my hair now. I got to hurry up and go pack my bags so I can head to the airport because I'm late. All right, guys. So I'm officially leaving, and we are at. Seabird Express, ready to board. Bye, Uncle. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. On this side. Bye, Uncle. No more chili. I love you. I'll cry. I go cry when I go on a plane. Okay. I could cry for you. Yeah. 
guys, my trip ended and I was so sad. Um, I just really enjoyed my trip. Editing this vlog alone brought back so many memories and I just can't wait for my next trip to go back home. As y'all can tell, I did not record a lot in the love. As you guys can tell, I didn't film a lot of my nightlife. That happened and stayed on my stories, on my close friends. I barely posted on my close friends then, but I had a good time at night too. Um, it was just a great experience all around and I, there was so much more that I could have done, but I just didn't have the time to. So a month wasn't even enough for me. Uh, I guess it was because I had the wedding and everything, but I had an amazing time in Sierra Leone and hopefully this urges you to make you want to go back home to your country and just you know, get back to your roots. It felt really refreshing to meet so many family members that I've never met before and just feel, they just made me feel good. Like, I felt like I've known them my whole life and I feel like that was the important part for me. Um, this, tri this trip meant so much to me and I'm so happy I got to experience it. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.